So welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here, man. Thank you so much for having me. And yeah. I wasn't expecting all these people. And being very shy as I am, really? you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a mess now. Yeah, I know, right? No, so, uh, so you flew in from Italy last night, and yes. now you're in for the con, right? So And for this. And for this, yes, of course. You're spending the day with us today. We, we, we're holding you hostage. So I think, the yeah, I, I think, I think, man, uh, everybody, I think a good place to start would be, um, we, I mean, we've been talking all morning about just how the internet shrunk, shrunk the world. Oh yes. And so, uh, what was it like, uh, just coming up as an artist aspiring to work in comics in Italy? What was that like? It was tough because uh -huh. <clears throat> as I was telling you, uh, on our way here, right. you guys are, I guess, in your 20s. You know, more or less. And you can realize how difficult it was for us, especially for us in Italy, just to dream about being able to work for an American publisher. And uh, communication, of course, was much harder than they are right now. Yeah. Uh, as I was telling you, like a phone call to an editor would have cost like a fortune back then. You know, like being 20 minutes with an editor would yeah. cost like, you know, a week pay for me. Yeah. So, and uh, internet, of course, made everything, made the whole world much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. Though I have to say, what really made the difference for me was when I moved to New York, I moved, I mean, I used to live in Williamsburg. I lived there for three months. And every single morning, I used to take the subway and go to Pete Tomasi, right. uh, DC, or Axel Alonso and Marvel, showing my, my portfolio. Right. And, but then again, right after those three months in 2004, when I got back home, being able to stay in touch with these people was right. so much easier. Yeah. And, and again, as I told you, a little bit before me, who really started working for Marvel on a regular basis was Claudio Castellini. I don't know how many of you guys ever heard his name, but he's my mentor, my, you know, my maestro. Right. And, uh, and especially, he was the one who gave us the feel, like the, like the, um, the feeling that, that we can, you know, right. if somebody made it, yeah. I can make it too. Right. It's it's been extremely important for us to have like a, a living example like him to show that it was possible that to possible, do. It. Right. And again, of course, you know, like right after Williamsburg, I got back home and and I kept in touch with these people, you know, uh, on a regular basis and that's when Pete Tomasi gave me my first assignment at DC Comics it was a book called Shining Night uh, script by Grant Morrison so you, it was just you know like already a big name to work with right with right Morrison you know yeah. and um, so that's how it started wow since then <laughs> it's been it's been a whirlwind ever since right yeah a war. that's really cool yeah so um so